The work of airports in capital Moscow has been interrupted following the drone attack on Russia's Moscow region on September 10. Passengers staying at the airport reported this on Telegram channels. Flights have stopped at Moscow's Zhukovsky Airport since morning. Passengers staying in the airport area say that they were left without information for hours and were removed from the area by the airport staff. There is no information on when the flights will resume. It should be noted that during the Ukrainian drone attack on Tuesday, the remains of the drones hit by the air defense system reportedly fell on the airfield. Нас постоянно гонят э, вот в самый дальний конец, то сначала оттуда, теперь нас перегнали сюда, как стадо, блядь. Кошмар какой-то. Никакую информацию не дают э, от слова совсем. Просто подходят и говорят, идите в самый дальний уголь, уголь, блядь, идите в самый дальний уголь. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin welcomed his Vietnamese counterpart, General Phan Van Jong, to the Pentagon for bilateral talks Monday. The two defense chiefs met to discuss a range of issues dealing with security in the Indo-Pacific region. The talks take place at an agonizing moment for Vietnam, as the death toll there has jumped to at least 64 from a typhoon and subsequent heavy rains that also damaged factories in export-focused northern industrial hubs, state media there has reported. They are also occurring as China's defense ministry has just announced joint naval and air drills with Russia starting this month, underscoring the closeness between their militaries as Russia presses its grinding invasion of Ukraine. The ministry said the Northern United 2024 exercises would take place in the Sea of Japan and the Sea of Okhotsk farther north, but gave no details. It said the naval and air drills aimed to improve strategic cooperation between the two countries and strengthen their ability to jointly deal with security threats. China has refused to criticize Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, now in its third year, and blamed the US and NATO for provoking President Vladimir Putin. While China has not directly provided Russia with arms, it has become a crucial economic lifeline as a top customer for Russian oil and gas as well as a supplier of electronics and other items with both civilian and military uses.